What is going on guys? It's your boy, Big Dylan, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. Finally, I have managed to bless you with another boring Destiny 2 video. Um, but anyway, the reason I haven't uploaded, it's just been too warm and honestly to be just sat inside all day. Um, it, it's been horrible, it's been really muggy, sticky, nasty weather. I can't deal with it. Uh, so I spent a little bit of time outside in the fresh air for once. Um, so yeah, that's that. Anyway, the purpose of this video today is how you can prepare for the next DLC, which is Warmind that is launching on May the 8th. Now, it's not that far away, a couple of weeks away, so let's just get straight into it. Let's get into the bee's knees. First things first, let's go over the obvious stuff here, power level. Reaching 335 before the DLC launches, it will set you at a little advantage, probably not much of one, but the way I always, you know, the example I always give out is if I am 335 and the DLC launches, I'm going to be getting 335 light drops or better. If someone is 320, they're going to be getting 320 light drops or better. You see what I mean? So it does give you a little bit of an edge, um, at least in that department. So that's the first thing. Next thing is making sure you have all the exotics that you currently want. Um, try, and, you know, try and collect all of them if you can. Try and collect all the exotic weapons. Armor pieces for all the classes if you play all three that is. Um, and yeah, because there's going to be a lot of new exotics that are going to come in the new DLC. Hopefully. Um, and there's also the exotic weapon tuning patch that comes on May the 8th as well. That's going to buff like a lot of the exotics. So hopefully some of them are going to be game changing and breaking um i'd really like you know exotics to actually be useful again next thing would be currency um glimmer try and make sure you, you hit the cap of a hundred thousand before the dlc launches legendary shards i've got thirteen thousand plus of these probably a little bit too much to be honest but in all honesty just save them hold on to them um because you never know if there's going to be a new vendor that you can actually spend these legendary shards at. Bright Dust, again, I'm saving all my Bright Dust. I've got 30 odd thousand Bright Dust. I know that's a lot of Bright Dust compared to what a lot of other people have. Um, but I'm saving this for Eververse because hopefully she's going to stock some new exotic sparrows and ghost shells, all that sort of jazz. And hopefully I'll be able to buy them straight away. Next thing, Eververse related. Make sure you've got all of the exotic sparrows, ships, and ghost shells that you want out of Eververse for Season 2 because when Season 3 launches, I don't think you will be able to get them anymore. So please do yourself a favour and get the ones that you need. Next thing is going to be um, materials and all the consumables like tokens, um, weapon parts, all that sort of stuff. I am putting all mine in the vault, although I don't really have that much room anyway it's pretty jam-packed but as you can see all of my tokens are in here my weapon parts all that sort of stuff save on to these don't turn them in yeah you know, if you max light level there's no point in turning them in anyway you're not really going to get anything decent for it and um, just hold on to you on to uh, all of your materials and save them for when the dlc launches hopefully you'll be able to get some of the new stuff when it does eventually launch now the next thing i want to get into this is a speculation, I don't know if it's going to work 100%, but if it does, I think we could be on to something here for future DLCs, at least in Destiny 2, right? Excuse me. So, we all know that saving engrams does not work in Destiny 2, right? Um, a lot of people tried it for Curse of Osiris, uh, but the problem with the engrams in this game is that when they drop, they are already predetermined, excuse me again, you know, if I get an engram to drop, say it's a legendary engram, it's 330 light. That engram is going to be 330 light, and the, the loot table it drops in has already been determined because I already have it on me, if that makes sense. Um, now, the thing that I am saving for the DLC is Cade 6's treasure maps. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because I don't think Cade 6's treasure maps have a you know, already predetermined loot pool was when you pick up the treasure map. I think Cade 6's treasure maps work in the sense that, say if I was to hold on to this 
and get it next week or whenever the DLC launches. The loot rolls there and then from the chest, if that makes any sense. So you can get exotics from these, you can get weapons, you can get armor pieces, you can get all sorts out of Kid 6's treasure maps. Um, so that's why I'm holding on to them. Hopefully it might work. I'm not saying it is going to, but if you want to do it as well, if you want to hold on to all these treasure maps for the DLC when it launches, do yourself a favor um, and just hold on to them. You know, you're not going to hurt yourself or hurt anyone by doing so. Um, and hopefully I can actually get this to work because I've been trying to find a way of preparing for the DLCs um, in terms of where you can save something that's going to give you higher light level stuff so hopefully this is going to be the way to do it in the future i know honestly i'd say that's about it i mean mods you might want to collect and save mods um just in case there is any new armor pieces that you want to put new mods in um and yeah i mean that's pretty much it shaders uh, rubbish uh yeah i mean that's about it make sure if you're in a clan level up your clan banner um make sure you've got it all the way up so you can get your clan little banner stave staff thing whatever it's called um for going into season three and uh, yeah that's pretty much going to do it for the video hopefully this gives you a couple of methods and ways as to how you can better prepare for the may dlc launching on may the 8th that is going to be called war mind as always guys thanks so much for watching hopefully i'll catch you in the next one till next time peace